I got bad news for you guys. I'm going to be IGN here and like relish it. Kind of a bummer. There is no DLC for Rebirth, which is unfortunate where it's like, oh, so we, they're, they're literally saving Vincent and Sid for part three. By them straight admitting right now, we got nothing for you guys. Here's the thing. The next thing is part three, nothing else. You know why that's scary? Because part two ends at the Forgotten Capital. And they don't want you playing anything else after that. They don't want the story continuing in any way. Meaning that whatever happens there is has permanence. And it won't be it won't be something that is like, oh, let me just go out and explore the world and do this stuff and yeah, let's just go shoot shit with Vincent after something happens that's super critical to the story, you know? What are we looking at here? Is this ready to go? Oh, we are alive. We're alive. It is very low audio. I'll, I'll balance it when people talk, chat, instead of blowing your ears out. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Final Fantasy A translator. Sweet Jesus, thank God. Stage. Are you enjoying the game show? Fantastic. Everyone, so many people from Japan and outside the country. We are very much looking forward to the stage. My name is Chiaki Matsuzawa, your MC today. Thank you very much for having me. Shout outs to Square for getting a translator. By the way, today we are streaming the stage. If you are watching, please post on X with an hashtag of FF7R. Please post on X. Post on what? Thank you for waiting. Now, on let what? me invite exciting members to the stage. First, Mr. Yoshinori Kitase, producer of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Come on, dude. He's the director of FF7. Come on. Someone brought a buster sword. Next, Mr. Naoki Hamaguchi, director of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And today's special guest who loves Final Fantasy a game and even makes a become a crystal by himself. His name is Mr. Noda Crystal from the comedian Nazuko Lovely. Everyone, thank you for joining us today. Noda-san, I think your style has changed, yes. Maybe I should change my stage name. It's so heavy, but it's so huge. Cloud, I think, he doesn't want to carry this around. It's too huge. He always do this. After Somebody's going to die on this stage. So cumbersome. Somebody's definitely dying so tonight. Should do some special move? No. It's dangerous. Awesome. It's too big. Somebody's so dying tonight. Perfect. Together with Basso, so thank you for coming, Noda-san. And, of course, there's one more person we should not forget. Another member joining us as a voice from heaven is Mr. Nomura. Yes, the voice Nomura. from heaven. Can you hear me all right? Can you hear Mr. Damn! TGS yes, is yes, crazy, dude! There's people as far as the eye can see! Holy thank God! You, Mr. Nomura. Thank you very much. Now, Noda san. So you think E3 is nuts? TGS is wild. And I should hand this bastard back. Uh, I sh should I carry this uh, all during the stage? I should carry this around? No, 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 no. Uh, Cloud always carries this around. It's a heavy cloud. While he's sleeping, he has this sword this way. And when he's sleeping, he need, he always has his sword like this. You remember very well. It's so scary. Okay, so you can carry this around? No, 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 please. So Thank God there's a stage hand. She saved so many countless lives around. that day. So Nomura-san is waiting for you to have a seat. Please be seated, yes. I'd like to talk about Rebirth. I'm very much looking forward to it. So we can hear a lot of news. I'd like to know everything about this title and you can have some spoilers. And what will be the truth about 
the end of the remake version is Hojo coming? Yes, I'd like to learn a lot in today's episode. Yes, please rely on me. I will ask everything. You this is such so a hard today. task for this translator, dude. To listen to what they're all saying well, and to actively translate, you have to be so fluent a very long time. in both languages. You guys can't hear the translator? You can. You can't hear the people talking in the background. Barely. Yes, thank you very much for waiting for this title. Yes, the release date has been finally announced. I'm so relieved, but at the same time, we are still working hard so that I can make this more exciting. Thank you. And Mr. Nomura. Yes. Finally. At last. That is the feeling I have. And I'd like to yes, release this as early as possible so that I can feel truly relieved. Okay. Something at my hand. There's a camera. Speaking from um, the Nomurian texts so already. Nomura <laughs> Nomurian texts already. He has very a good smile. Yes, he's waving to me through the screen. Thank you. Hamaguchi-san, what's your take? Yes, the release date has been finally announced, but at the same time I feel somewhat tense and nervous, so I'd like to make this as best quality as possible. Please look forward to it. Yes, everyone looks forward to it. Thank you. And Noda-san? FF7? Yes, I... Everyone complete the remake is looking forward to the next title set. We'd like to have any new information as possible. And also, there should be Sephiroth coming into the scene, so I'd like to see that. So, we are reaching to that part then. What we can expect the next in this title is this or that, you know? Yeah, so many things we can expect for this title. Now, uh, we would like to ask for FF7 Rebirth. Kitano, Kitasa san could you please explain about the title? Yes. Hey, Ooh! Yes. Next. <laughs> I like it. Let FF7, FF7 be next. In 1997, we'd like to let it come back to the present time. This is the trilogy offering three titles. We'd like to capture as many elements as possible from the original version. So that's why we made it into trilogy. The previous title was released in in 2020. FF7 remake. Or Chad, I can't even FF7 tell you how many remake. people said I was stupid and crazy to think that they wouldn't make this so many people around the world. five parts in like 2015, 2016. And I was like, dude, it's going to be three parts. For sure. FF7 Rebirth, this is the second chapter or title of this trilogy. And through this streaming, I'd appreciate if you could learn a lot about this new title. Thank you for the explanation. The second title of this trilogy was released, the seven remake. Noda-san, you played this one year and completed, right? Yes, I made it by this time. It was very close. And Escape from Midgal, that was so uh, full of value in terms of contents. In Midgal, there's, there's something I saw unexpectedly. Wasn't it said in 2017 to be split into three parts? They did not confirm the that original title. until 2022. Also, PlayStation... When you that information play, was not confirmed by anybody until the developers in 2022. Is more um, with high resolution in this stage, uh, or oh, Avranchi trying to uh, let Mako re reactor explode, and what kind of impact on the city? Yeah, they confirmed so it on realistic. the anniversary stream. And that was something I appreciated very much. It was very realistic, I see, yes, the escape from the Mythical. And I think there will be new players for this title. So, Noda-san, could you please explain what kind of story you saw in FF7 Remake? Should I? Yes, please. Very much appreciate you. Just finish this title. Yes, you can be humorous, yes. As a Wang, thanks for the 20! Yes, you're a professional to telling a funny story. So, I, when I made a mistake, please correct me. The so producer and director will be behind you to monitor you. Okay. So, the Final Fantasy VII in the world, there's a energy, what is called Mako energy. Oh, 
that is a starting point. So there's Mako energy in the world, and when you use Mako energy, you can do nice things. That is so convenient. But when you use Mako energy too much, then that will damage the planet. But many people do not care about that. And there's a company called Shinra Company trying to exploit the Mako energy to the extent possible. And there's this um, organization attacking Mako, um, Shinra Company, that is Avranchi. This Avranchi is trying to. Try this poor translator. I think somebody just cut his mic. I think his mic just disconnected. Oh no. He's probably working so hard on translating all this stuff that I don't even know if he knows his mic disconnected. Oh no. I feel bad. This happens every TGS chat. I always feel bad for the translators. Live translation. Not even like you get to take notes and, you know, and and maybe relate context to words before, which is a big thing of like Japanese. No, you can't even do that. Just translate straight up right now. Don't even think about it. Go. <laughs> See by Shira Company and this girl has that guy pieced out Mako energy in their promising land. That dude literally got up and threw his mic on the ground and ran away. Yeah, I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> he left. <laughs> the poor guy. <laughs> this ain't worth it. And let's protect Aerith. That's what they're doing. Right? <laughs> to protect Aerith. And the fight against Shira Company. And somehow they need to flee Midgar. I can talk, right? Yeah. You can, I can, you can talk up to that. What time is it? Which is the initial... The well, time is moving show, rapidly, final, actually. Final Fantasy VII, but huh. at the very end... Just checking the time. I've been told that I can share this with you. I can speak to you. Somehow. The original Final Fantasy VII, the end, is different. What's that? What is it? I can't say that. I can't explain that. It might be that there might be some hint coming off today. The Sephiroth who should have been dead that reappears. So the original Final Fantasy VII is not the same future. That's how it ends. So that's the final. Bring Fantasy back the remake. ATB guy. ATB. Where's the E3 ATB guy? What was his name? What did you think about that? That was wonderful. Where's that guy? Bring him back. Fly him out there. Thank you so much. It was Neil. Yeah. I was wondering how much I. Neil gave me the Shinra shirt at E3. Where is he? Fly him out here. ATB. Where is this man? We need his help right now. What did you feel about that? So in principle, yeah, in principle, I think in line. So red 13. What about red 13? You skip red 13. I want to talk about red 13, but uh, you were very careful, right? Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so the voice of Kape Yamaguchi is so cool. <laughs> so the voice is so wonderful. <laughs> so the way it ended, you feel that the future is in your hand, which is from the remake to Rebirth. So I think that you gave a very hot explanation. So Kitase-san, so there may be people who want to start. So I think Noda-san's wonderful explanation for Final Fantasy VII, those who haven't played but who would like to start going forward, what I would recommend is uh, Final Fantasy Rebirth as well as the Integrate, which is the twin pack product. Until I was plotting some stuff, it didn't come through. Of the Rebirth, you are able to make a reservation and able to play at a very good price if these play it.
the previous title uh, in terms of Final Fantasy Remake, if you reserve the Twin Pack from that point, you're able to download and play. So until the launch of the Rebirth, you're able to play and do some preparations. Great. So we're still one waiting for the Final Fantasy Rebirth, but towards these people, Nomura-san, in terms of um, the Final Fantasy Rebirth, can you explain what kind of storyline it has? Sorry, I wasn't. I, I didn't think you were going to ask me. You have to keep your attention at all times. As Nora-san mentioned earlier, the mystery at the end. If you play this Rebirth, I think you'll be able to see the big picture. So you'll see this. The original, in the original, so after fleeing from Mirka, you come into this big world and you visit various cities and places and the real travel adventure of Clouds and his fellows starts. And in that, in the trailer up to now, we haven't really shown it very clearly, but in the places they go through, there will be many characters and encountering various characters, and there's a drama in those areas. For those who play the original, would ponder whether that character's going to come back. I'm sure some of you may be worried or concerned, but almost, I think we've covered all so there are various characters with impact that who have not come along, so I want you to be stay tuned. I think the area that you would be most concerned is the difference of the from the original. Yeah, the Japanese trailer is different, chat. But within they the literally story, capture the, the Japanese trailer with different footage. Is covering the original as prolongs and as you mentioned in the previous last of course there's something that is added so it's original plus the uh, rebirth new story which will kind of come along and duplicate which is basically the story so what you just saw, some of you may have um, realized, but is Gion is from the Gold Salsa. So we also have Kilie who appeared in the previous one. And this person, who is this person? Again, is a question mark and is an interesting point. So I think various characters come up very quickly. The weapon did not appear in the original, so I think this is something where you want to kind of deep dive. So that was it. Wow. So first, the field is kind of really vast. There's a lot of things I'm so curious. So I'd like to ask all of it, but from here we would like to have Hamaguchi-san to ask about the content and explain the content of Rebirth. So for this stage, I'm sure you're all concerned about how the world map exploration element is. I'm sure you're all interested. So what I've done is that it's going to be a 30-minute stage for me where I would like to provide the new information as well as the video of the new game. I would like to give these clues to you. So if you have any questions, you know, you always ask free to ask. But before I start, there is one thing about to say is that this time around, 
I'm going to uh, show you the content of the game in a very compact, so it's a special version from the original, so it's slightly different from the original, and currently it is still in the process of production, so it might be that it's not in perfection in some parts, but please be aware of that. I've assembled a catcher's so position to just right, absorb. The screen to the video. Let's go! Let's go! From here. Let's go, so dude! Oh my, from here, right? yeah. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my god! So it's, it's I need 8K footage right so this now! This is the grass around area. So Cloud have fleed from Midgar Spoilers! and are going to the south of Midgar in the grassland area. And it's they've staying in a town... Start counting the meters, Kong. chat! Start counting them! Shinra have heard that the Valanche are staying there, so are... Dude! And are oh my god! Oh my Oh, God. Is, yeah. So, in terms of the rebirth, a game experience will start from here. So, the world map characterizes is how we showed. And in the previous promotion, the reason why we show this was that meaning. So, this is the field. Wow. Wow. This is the field. Is this the field? What's this? So it's in this field that the world map, we have it as one space, and within that we have this grass land area and other areas, and within that area there's towns as well as dungeons that are in a seamless as a big world map. Seamless, boys! No loading! So it's like an open world. So it's like a very flexible free world. So you're able to go through the lands which are connected and you're able to be able to feel directly the Final Fantasy. The ship you see take off. Those are those big fat ships you see take off from, from Junon. In this grassland area, it's only a part of this world uh, area, and it's just a two-kilometer area. So even if dude Hamaguchi is, is delivering so much, dude. Every single time this guy talks, everything he shows. So realistic. I was wondering how you're going to create this field, but we made it. Without making it, I think all the fans waiting for the remake will not be satisfied. So we made this happen. Fantastic. These areas, you have the, all the areas surrounding all the planet that is so beyond description. You'd like to go everywhere. Now they are ready to start. And in this title, you can go various places of the world map as well as change party members as you'd like. This time, I <laughs> like to show you how you can switch. He's to gonna play it! And you can switch from the command. Hey, you, you don't have to use VHS. Oh, you don't need that from. VHS is not necessary. So it's so more than all right confirmed smartphones to it's not parties. that big and confirmed game, it's it's see it wasn't as crazy as we expected we saw it we'd like to confirmed get it. it's big but it's not this. insane yes. and in terms of distance about one kilometer or so you'll be walking in that direction so i'd like to give some explanation still huge like it's still massive but it wasn't like so we'd like to obscene this time the battle system we have a synergy system there's a synergy ability and synergy skill first i'd like to serve with a synergy skill crowd is utilizing the power from Aerith and tifa uses i love it how it's the same enemies as the og game here and try to a conduct a combination attack in the air what are we looking at dude attack or combination attacks these actions and technical a synergy can be utilized you, you do not have to use atps so you can use this while atp gaze is filling up this is didn't i play this version hell no dude the thing we played was a super small area outside of junon that was it while the atp gauge fills up yes you can use combination attacks and this is not playable anywhere to the public combination and every different combination was shown but we have a every combination of every party member for that synergy skill so please um learn every combination and synergy skills as you'd like 
you picked various items on the field. Yes, there are so many items on the field, and some of you have played this on a trial, but there's a crafting or item transmutation system. Is that Whoa, dude, and there's way more card game decks! And gather various items. And there was a billion more options in the left than there was in the, what we played. There was a ton more shit. So you can create various items, and when you become more mature, a defense gear or armor equipment, or you can reinstate your gears. And this can be used from the start to the end of the game. Please use this item transmutation or crafting function. Oh, it's something we saw in the previous title. Did they say they can use it for armor? So many people love this kind of thing. That's true. Please pick everything on the field. I and mean, then I'd like ask, to ask you to explore in the field. So there's so many wide field areas you can go. This is insane, here. bro. And look at look at all like the depth the that the map has. It's not flat at and all. There are so many field actions prepared for this title. Oh, you can move very. It, it's Compared so like dynamic. Title, it's 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 huge. Movement and also this you, there you can see some animals. Okay. Around. Yeah, I noticed the bunnies when I was playing yeah, so around Junon. You can identify Shinra boxes. Everybody would like to slot. So the Chocobo boxes, leads you to so them all. bus stops, which are checkpoints. In addition to that, as you are walking, there's a very small Chocobo, and you can follow the Chocobo, and he says, "Please follow me," and we can see some signposts. And yeah, they confirmed a card game in interview earlier today. The game has a, a card game called like Queen's Blood or something like that. And from the more perspective, this chocobo will be very delighted to see. So cute. You literally get gear for your chocobo that makes your that changes your chocobo stats and races if you follow these guys around. It's so smart. Some reaction to this. Chocobo. So cute. And depending on the area, the reactions may vary. I can't believe what I'm looking at, dude. I can't believe they're actually showing this much. This as a fast travel point, as well as these bench benches. Oh, fantastic benches. But this is different. Oh? This is goofy. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, throw this <laughs> this hemorrhoid pad. And in the wild map, so the benches are so old and dirty, so you need to. My use ass cushions. is itchy. Put I this down. would like to use cushions when he'd like to sit on that. So bench. cushions are tense. So, so the cool part is that you can you can make three customized like parties and hot swap them at any point on the field without going into the menu. So if you see that there's aerial enemies in front of you, you can swap to you can swap to a party that has Barrett in it. For the near range attackers, you can a uh, show various special moves uh, close to enemies, and you can charge your ATV gaze to a. Uh, Dude, Hamaguchi is loving this shit right now. He finally gets to show people what he's been working on for like five years. Is very powerful. Uh, it is very um, useful move, status to rate. And rate that you finally get to show people all this crazy stuff we've been doing. Vengeance gauge. When you protect or guard the attacks of enemies, you can. He has a 30 minute vengeance. demonstration for this shit, dude. 30 you minutes. Have feel that you can go into the vengeance mode with the special abilities you can use in that state. It's not that Red 13 can just go. Whoa, um, I didn't do that. Oh my god. Back, but also, you can guard the attacks from enemies. Then you can use very special mode red 13 and you can do counter and that's very refreshing are they so showing too much dude they're showing like very one from 30th of the, the game enjoy playing they're showing and using red like you think 30. this is a lot though ff7's world is huge red 13, I'd like to there are so many points of interest across the whole planet that it's crazy and we're seeing most of them in this game when it eventually comes out Finally, we can use Red 13. And you can swim in the river. Uh, you can swim in the river or in the ocean, maybe, legendary, um, the submarine material. Not just swimming, you can climb up roads or you can use wire hooks. There are so many. Wire hooks? Dude, actions, what the shit so that you get? You can enjoy exploring the so what is that? The world. You, can you potentially unlock tools that like, give you yeah, access yeah, to certain parts of the map the that you can revisit. The right? The field is so big. 
this time, as I that's the point of that like we can go back and we can oh we couldn't get there before now we can we like some some literal friggin like castlevania shit which was way, the way ff7 worked oh we're already at the chocobo farm you can tell when you play the original version you can see so we are going to chocobo ranch we are going to chocobo ranch oh my god i want to hear the music so bad Everybody loves Chocobo Ranch, and is the Bill Chocobo Bill? I, I will ignore him this time. Too much story. But you can meet him here. Yes, just to show a glimpse of him. Oh my God! Here. Chocobo and Jim. We here would like to rent Chocobo so that we can go to Swamp Lands. And in this title, Chocobo offers the various characteristics. Some Chocobos can climb up the hill, or some Chocobo can fly in the sky, or. Some Dude, this game is too much. Go over it's too much. I don't. Water sea in at a very high speed, and you can use a Chocobo. I can't believe it. Go various places. That is one of the uniqueness of this title. And this Billy Chocobo Billy. When you play Here's the, the thing, you think they're showing too much, remember a chocobo sum, but, but them showing stuff doesn't deny that other things won't be there. So if they're willing to show this much, how much more is there? Because obviously devs don't want you to see everything, you know? They want things to be surprises, so how much more is there? And the answer is probably a shit ton. Yes, and now we are now trying to rent the chocobo, but we were asked to catch a chocobo who... Damn, look at the lighting the change. Now we are going to catch a chocobo. In the original version, how, do you remember how we catch chocobo? I think this was... He's making fun of his hair. ...other monsters and we should kill monsters out from chocobo right yes that is correct yes that reminds me yes good memory and in this title how we are going to get chocobo is something i'd like to show you so this is an entire mechanic how the hell does this work thank you damn and choco chick is cute sister of chocobo billy are we gonna so they said that there's like a system like an actual mechanic in the game to to capture chocobos in the old one it was greens you just needed greens you should follow track and footprints that is the homage we've made i remember that yes in the original version that was some symbolic but in this title you can see the actual footprints here it's so real and you should follow and track these these footprints oh this is great dude in the original version we could make it but this is actually what's happening in the title you should follow the chocobo footprints in this manner and as you walk in the vault map you can identify chocobo footprints and you can press them back so that you can move forward and then you can meet a bunch of chocobo groups in the original so yeah we found chocobo so let's go and capture chocobo so how do you think that we're going to capture chocobo in this one mm. using a net using a net right so let's actually try out are you gonna wrestle it cloud tell me you're gonna wrestle it please Tell me you're gonna literally jump on it like you're. There, there's a system where you can jump on it like it's a bull. Please. Tell me you have to wrangle it like it's a it's a wild horse. Penalty, so I want you to make a lot of opportunities so you want to move when Chocobo is not looking. And where you see it over there is Pico, is the Chocobo you want to catch this time around. It's very careful, it's hiding, but I think they will realize it's very... <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at this thing. I don't. I don't. I know this is a demo, but I'm gonna ruin this. So yeah, you guys feeling the horizon influences or what? So you distract the chocobo with a rock. Nice throw, Cloud. You throw a fat ass rock. So during this opportunity, you go and you get on. You get on. And this is like when. A cap feels safe when you grab chocobo feels No crazy mini game. I wish there was. With chocobo and able to utilize chocobo because I wish there was an actual mini game to it. Trust relationship. Oh, and you can provide the giza green. And as you explore the world map, you will be utilizing chocobo quite a lot. Not just riding, but it has various um, parts. And you're able to customize various things so you're able to customize the chocobo and create your own chocobo as you explore the world map so cute you feel the scene is doing a lot for me right now red 13 seems to be very wary so i think they might be feeling something so chocobo is a bit hungry so he's going to go back to the branch so it looks very happy so he's come back so as you just saw the world is vast which i think we've been conveyed so going back to chocobo's branch going back to where you come is a bit of a troublesome but for those places that you that was the chocobo before, ranch can, um, it was fast track. dude we so uh we were looking at that spot last I night you to utilize this fast track function, that spot on the map it was also loading yes chocobo's back loading what this time chocobo wants to capture you right and then you go to exploration but this is the first chocobo so it's a tutorial so this time we had the chocobo to come back to the ranch to provide for they're so lecture. yellow so <laughs> these so birds are so green yellow green Chocobo Green is saying, please wait. So utilizing this time, we want to showcase some of the elements of the exploration of world map whilst we wait for Chocobo to finish eating. So we're going to go out and then... <gasps> oh, wow. oh, it's just you, Chadley. Sorry. It's Chadley. Chadley. That just naturally happens. Sorry. Have you forgotten me? With those cute eyes? If you, if you say, I don't remember you. I don't remember Chadley you. Will sleep. But of course, we remember Chadley. <laughs> I don't remember you. you Who the hell Chadley are you, you funky the, robot? <laughs> Sorry, spoilers. Um, Intel, we provided, and by accomplishing that, it was coming, it came up with something. So Cloud was prompted, so said that, Chadley said, I want to go to the world map. So he's now made his research to world map. So by exploring the world map and from the knowledge that you've developed, you're able to develop the material. So basically he's saying that, you know, let's cooperate together. So I think Chadley has a story of his own. So he wants to element, he, he, this is a very important element to explore the world map. He's saying that Shinla, the old Remna wave tower, are in the world map that are not utilized by... Because, of course. ...that Chadley will be able to explore the world map. Because, of course, so there has to be towers of some kind, right? Various, um, because, towers. of course, the fog of war towers. The areas he is able to explore, and he's saying that let's expand this world. At map. least it makes sense, so, so right? There are Shinra towers. They're tapping the them for. They're tapping them for info. And Cloud also follows on that too. So the Remnant Wave Tower. We're going to initiate that. So he's saying it's very close by, over there. <laughs> It's just there. So it's better just you go there yourself because it's so close. So the world is going to be in your hands. But the first, he's saying, let's do it together. So let's just initiate the first one or activate the first one. 
So like this, so Chudley is in the world map. So we've given him a new a uniform like a no, that's not the grappling hook. Costume. That's um, uh, my I think so is the name. See, it's like an AI that talks to you, Mia. Um, terminal. So this is the by putting in the module that was received earlier, the remnant wave tower will be activated. So we've been very careful with the mechanics here. So this is, has the fantasy elements and the light elements, which is the final fantasy seven. Wow, it's really good for my heart, I suppose. So by activating the remnant wave tower, the world map close to the remnant wave tower, you're able to detect and Chadley knows where they want to explore or investigate. So like this. So Chadley is um, searching, investigating, and then, as you can see, the, on the area maps, the area Chadley wants you it to It gives you hunts and stuff. Here. So that's and how you get the information on the hunts. these requests and executing that, you're able to develop various materia, which is the objective cloud and Chadley. Oh, this is how you get materia? So we're going to activate the Remno wave and we've done some analysis. So let us... Um, this gives you all your map materia. POIs, yeah. So let us um, develop a materia. So you're able to develop various materia. Yeah, we noticed there was there, regional levels. Like you can gain areas. levels for each region. So there's various but we didn't know so what the reward for that was. Develop and select the one that she want to use like this. So there are various materials you've never come across. Cool. The rewards for it so are actually are good. Convenient materia. <laughs> oh, very interesting. Nodasan loves materia. I love materia. So Chadley's request, there were a couple, so let us try one. So it's around 800 meters difference, so from Kam to Chocobo Raj it was one kilometer, so I think it's roughly the same distance. But now Chocobo's ready, we're going to ride on Chocobo and see how convenient Chocobo is. Okay, we're going to ride and, They're still going, dude. and go to the place, go to our destination. That one, that Pico, right? Pico is ready. So we're going to whistle. Oh, Pico's, uh, Choco, Pico's come. Oh, they named so the Chocobo. So that's Red 13, right? They're riding. Might red have a chocobo -less run. Wow. So as you can see, Chocobo's running. Sometimes Chocobo realizes, detects something. So from the smell, if you smell... This is hot and cold from FF9. The, the wild rabbit has the tendency of digging or putting something on the ground. So if Chocobo makes a response, I want you to proactively use Chocobo. So Chocobo, you don't want to capture a wild rabbit, so very cute, huh? That's the Moogle house. Moogle house. Help him Did get laid! It's Moogle house. Go I help him! Salsa, so they put the Moogle house. It's not a video yeah. game anymore, brother. Give you a bit of a metal, it's real. Right? <laughs> it's so not a video game in the video game anymore. The Mog house is. You're gonna have to help that bitch get laid in real video game life. Request of Chadley will be conducting, but normally they are very. Oh my God. Um, the Mog House is real. So it can hurt you. And to be able Look to at them skipping all this the shit. Really They're like, okay, now zoom through it as fast as possible we so that we don't spoil stuff. The one with the combat, so we've Run through this so quick, people won't be able to make any sense of it. Chocobo is very helpful. It's so quick. And you can see the most uh, a guide system will give you an explanation on each monster's enemies. You can see the explanation of the monster, why the monster lives in this place, and what kind, how they live in this area. It's like explanation at the zoo. Yeah. So yeah, this, this like little hunt thing, thing like talks to you and tells you about and the ecology key tips and how this thing like lives and survives. The world map content on of Chatterley is it's a Pokedex. something that you let players to grow and increase levels, but rather we wanted to create some 
a story behind all of the elements in the world. It's not that you are just fighting and defeating enemies, but I'd like to, you to know the details about each monster and how they live. That is something we created in this content, and then you can combat them. So it's like a well-created got the parry environment and here you can see very strong monsters and a trial play you can battle with this monster but you should be well prepared or you'll be killed or beaten by these monsters that they are so strong and powerful and here i'd like to talk about synergy ability is different from synergy skills you should charge the gauge hold it together stream to use that synergy ability how you can charge this synergy a gauge when you consume atp gauge then you can charge the synergy gauge so when you use atp one more then you can increase and charge synergy gauge so you should consume ATP. Aerith is doing hardcore so science over here. The synergy ability. And if you'd like to show the synergy ability between Cloud and Red 13, and then you need to increase the synergy gauge of both characters, Cloud and Red 13. So I should switch characters and increase the gauge. So switching characters would be to better battles. Rewarded that is for engaging. Something we'd like to highlight. You should not use just one character, but you'd like to a charge synergy gauge switch yeah they want you to use everybody you can use move in the previous title you can just use cloud only but in this title you can use various characters in in doing so you can utilize synergy ability which will be good for dude how many synergy right. points are you getting you can see we're at four and three what do you have is on the increase i would like to release the synergy ability they are so strong we see the life point hp is on the decrease i think you should cure yourself yes let us cure <laughs> i think you should kill yourself <laughs> cure yourself this attack we'd like to use the synergy ability no nice there's punisher it's so invincible Aerith is creating Kill him. Yes, okay. Then chain ability. This, this costs three ability. pips each? And what is this ability? A savage assault. That wasn't in the demo we played. So cool. This is so cool. Yes. That was not in the demo we played. Synergy is so fantastic and each character offers various synergy abilities so please learn them and use them to the extent possible there's every combination every character right yes that is correct and that is the explanation i'm just sitting here in awe dude i can't believe this of the, of the world intel of the Tatooi, and you can see the map is so big, so large, there is so many unexplored areas. And this time, some of you may know, you can play a mercenary quest. Mercenary quest, there are so many people in need. Oh my god, dude, look at Calm. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my fucking god. I'm gonna fucking cry. <laughs> you can talk to them and they will ask some quests. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Is the what am I fucking looking at? Calm. There's a Mako town in Calm. But Look at this town. Mako from Mako town. I'm drooling. I, I, I will ignore him. What are you doing to me? Like, this is Calm. Yes, you can see this is Calm. Calm, it is so fantastic. You can see so many people living here. And as you are walking around in the city, it's difficult to identify who's in need. It's cumbersome for some people. And in this world, you have very nice functions. You don't have to go around. There's some. A, I have to close my mouth. The city where people will. My bitch ass mouth has been a gape. Quest. So, uh, as you can see, this this is the notice board. When you see notice board, you can see some quests or requests on the board. So from here, you can start quests. It's so helpful. 
There's like a one ad section in the town. This one that is livestock day, this is the quest. You can start a initiating the quest or you can do several tasks in parallel as you move forward in the story. It's not that the tasks would be discontinued. You can just continuously a receive quest as, much, as many as possible and you can complete tasks as you'd like. I so they allow multitasking. In this quest, as time is limited, I'm going to use fast travel where I've never visited, but you need to go to that place to use fast travel in the original game. And this is the person who's in need and the client. In this quest, maybe we need to dig deep about these characters or they make some requests to solve problems with them. So by finishing various quests, you can learn many things about this world. Come in the original, uh, I skipped or I went through without doing anything. But no, calm is the first place you go to in the cycle, so you can do many things, not just characters. And together with cloud, all these dialogue trees, man, cool. The major role in this quest, Red 13, is with cloud. So cloud plus someone from your party you will play personally, and by doing so you can build trust and better relations with cloud, and you can imagine how that will play out in the later. Part of the so wait a minute. Depending on who you have in and your party with you, it changes. Attacked. If you have like Red Thirteen with you, the dialogue of the quest changes, and that changes some sort of dating game thing so later. Started to look into the scene. Red Thirteen is so in a hurry. He's like and a dog chasing sheep is so motivated and when you look into this place you can see the story will unfold yeah all these things these behind the scenes stat management stuff is all going to be contributing towards the dating quest most likely 13 says it's been several days since the enemy attack here is so demotivated after finding that out. And Cloud says that we should rely on Chocobo. And Chocobo in this world has a very good sense of smell and better than Red 13. Not just wandering around the world map, but also there are so many quests and you can problem some with Chocobos and Red 13. Um, does not like Chocobo will a overtake his ability, but when you sent on the Chocobo, then you can track the sent path. <laughs> Red 13 says, well, I, sh I can track this out. Red 13's Red getting is, jealous. Is <laughs> Red's like, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. You lost a track of the scent, then you can a smell again. So this bird is taking my job. The scent, and when you follow this, how long you can move to the next phase of the story. So Chocobo is very important, not just wandering around the map, but also various quests in the title. And this is how it works. 30 minutes have passed. It's so fantastic. And from this and almost please play it by yourself. So this is That's just the beginning of it, dude. It was so quick. Well, we That's just the beginning. Calm. The first city it's literally so just the first town the and the story. first there couple so of things, things you can do. We are to know. Uh, I'm interested in the swamp lands. I'm so intrigued, and not just Chocobo, there's so many bowling contents. This is the first area, this is the, just the first city, but so many things that we learn here. So many contents, till the end of the title, right? That is correct. So fantastic. And the battle system, combat system, it looks so exciting. Yes, it is well crafted. And also in the trial play, many people touched on that. And we received very good feedback and very delighted. Yes, we'd like to consider how, what would be the best approach to moving the battle. Not just combat and battle, but also chocobos. Not just uh, vehicles, but it's like they are party member in a way. Yes, and they are so cute. 
the field, but even up to here we've had a lot of volume, so Hamakuchi-san, there is something that you still want to show. So today, at, on this TGS stage, it wanted to showcase the video or the title, but normally if I planned that, it would take two hours just for my part, So, but the product director said that you can't have all of the TGS, of course, th that's no surprise, but so this time around, I kind of um, shrank it into a half an hour, so the basic systems of the game, I've only been able to explain that, but there are the fluent variety of the games which I was not able to explain showcase today. So I would like to have this opportunity because you're all here to cut some part and a lot of people are participating online too. So today we would like to share some new information, therefore there are various informations and it's information only for grassland not everything but i'm so glad i came here today so i've kind of made that into two to three min minutes um video so i would like to show this for the first time oh my god dude hamaguchi you Great. magnificent Thanks. bastard so you're able to make reactions please feel to make so this is the mughal house the one we sh uh, saw earlier so cute. So it's like a mini game. <laughs> so Mughal House mini game. And and them. Do the recompense. They're, They're back. Are coming to the world map together with a cloud escaping or fleeing from Midgar. So there's various stories. They have various stories. They're kind of being beaten. They're being beaten. So they're characters that are loved. And in this one, we also have a card game. And this card game is that there's a story. Jesus Christ, so dude. From the start till the end, you're able to play during the game. I just showed you just a bit. So, as I said, they put Gwent in the game. In the touch parts. What was that card game? So I'm showing you bits and pieces. So There's Chocobo tracks to race. Chocobo race. But as a tutorial for Chocobo, for you to be able to get used to Chocobo, this itself is enjoying. So the characters we saw earlier will appear on Quest, and you're able to see the relationships and the background of these characters. This is where Aerith is the protagonist. So the theme is the flower in terms of the quest. So in the previous I give up, one, dude. you saw this, right? I give up. I give up. In the previous title, I think they were picking flowers. Aerith was picking the flowers. And not just the monsters we saw earlier. There are very strong monsters that appear if you are able to conquer some a request. So this is this one is a very strong one. So this, if you are able to finish a certain condition, it appears it's a very rare monster. So there's the piano. Rare oh, monsters. Piano. piano. B. Can it be? So it's now like Stop. a different game. Stop. So it's now a rhythm game. Stop. Wow, they're playing. It's a rhythm game. So there's more songs that he can play? Oh. Where is this place? Where is this? Ah, la, 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 la. Oh, I'm so intrigued. Was that Wu? Was that? That? There's, that can be anywhere than Wu Tai, so right? I clue that it would have taken two hours, and the director said, I can't present that. Dude. So you Hashimoto is. Pieces. Dude, he. This is like. Um, Hamaguchi's so I'm happy. happy. So I always get that many. mixed up. He's so happy to be able I to show this shit off. Like, oh, He's so happy. But there were mini games. He's like, I finally get to show games? this shit off. That was What's Wu Tai, right? But. But where? 
Probably in a different location. So Probably not like Wutai Island. Yeah. So there's one store within it, and with the card players, you're able to resolve the a mystery and solve, and it comes to a very heartbreaking or heartful end. So how much can you play? So if you play a stopping by, you won't go be able to reach the main part. So there's a lot. So rather than doing everything, it should be that you should be selective and do the things that you Yeah, it's like. probably like a once you a sector, like a base that the Wu Tai fortress or the like the, the, the Wu Tai guys use. Back. So I think it's really dependent on the individual. Wonderful. And we also also say the piano. The piano, those who played, I'm sure it's a reminiscence. So you will get the final heaven. You remembered. So I would like to go and capture the final heaven. Actually, today, I showed you a video, but I said it was for the grassland, but some, there are different information, so the piano is one in a different area. And the reason why I include that today is because that minigame, I wanted Noda-san to, you to play today. Yeah, Tifa, so you get Tifa's like final heaven from her piano, her game, childhood piano. But that sound game is, it has very original in terms of the operability. So to operate the piano, play the piano is difficult, right? So you have to be careful of your right hand, left hand. Yes, of course. So much pressure on me. I wonder if I can do it. Okay, you will. Can I play? All right, we have it over there. So this is the play corner. Wow. So this is the RL, so right hand, left hand. So we're going to switch to the screen. So like this. So there's the clearance mode, like the one in the original. So you're able to play the piano with this. So this is really quite real. So you could play like a real piano. So I want you to Dude, play you could the change the, the tone like of the notes. Like you could with square and circle and left and right. So we could really become a piano master. So I might be able to play one song, right? Yes. The developer's staff was able to play and show that to everybody. I'd like to see that. It might be a concert out of here. So this time, the, if we're going to Groundhog Day this shit. In the middle and select this song. You literally Final play Fantasy Final Fantasy, Fantasy songs on a piano. Whether you're an uh, Aerith camp or a camp, the user is able to discuss. But today I'm going to be nasty, and we have the theme for Aerith and Tifa. So, Noda-san, I want you to showcase which camp you are. Noda-san. Are you Aerith camp or Tifa camp? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm going to pick Aerith because I've no choice. So I've no choice. I, can, I can't even believe what we're looking at. I can't even believe how much is here. I'm just broken, dude. So you've got this Buster Sword as you play. Can I? So there's the countdown. Come on, go! <laughs> okay, got it, got it, nice. Oh, it's hard to. It's hard. Okay, it's so difficult. But you're doing it, you're doing it okay. Okay, I got it. I got it. And then the songs come along. Wonderful, lovely. You got it in an instantaneously. Yeah, I got it. So they wanted it to emulate being like an actual piano, so it isn't just one wheel, it's well. both sticks, right? Doing well. it's and that's like time. the toughest thing of piano it's is you, two hands. So 
So you're using the analostic, so not just the right hand side. If you have to use your left hand side, unless you're used, you do come to a panic. And the music, there are various music notes in the world. You're able to find the song and make various challenges. You find the songs throughout the world. You find Final Fantasy VII song orchestration around the world. So you can play on pianos throughout the game. Now close. This is that level three song. Yeah, they have a metronome going, which is obviously like, you know. Very, very well. Like well cheat done. mode <laughs> until you are it's get really so good at it. Exciting. I can play this forever. Frank C. I think I can just play this. Yes, there is so many. Yeah, R2 turned the exciting. metronome off. Probably get bonus points for having no metronome. Great to have this in FF7. Some it's just the fact that it's like a celebration of the goddamn piano themes of FF7, which are incredible. Like Final Fantasy music in, it, in general has amazing piano themes, but like FF7's piano themes are wild. Place. They made a whole game out of it. Using this piano. Well, uh, I think I'd like to ask a professional piano players to play this. And when you have played piano, and then you can do a good performance. And it takes some time to get used to it, but pianists um, can play it well. As you get used to it, you can play more difficult pieces. So please, um, I, I'm looking forward to so many people up to Theme. Piano performance. One wing, it is going to be speaking. nuts. And I'm just wondering in what kind of circumstances Cloud will play this game. You you like that? Yes, of course. I like that. There's so many drama within the piece. Of this theme. Nomura-san, I think you look very delighted to see his performance. Nomura-san, what's your take? Yes, I see so many exciting faces in at the stage. I was mesmerized by the performance. And I'm looking... I was mesmerized by the uh oh yeah. Yeah. Midgard Night Cruise? What is happening? Midgard <laughs> <laughs> Is this of that one actual factory in Japan that looks like that inspired FF7? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> あのね、そんなお知らせもしたところでもう本当にね、まだまだお話を伺いたいところですが、本日はここまでということで、最後に番組ご覧の皆様にお一人ずつメッセージいただきたいと思います。It's a cruise in Kanagawa. Gotcha. いやー、まあ、今回はそのカームはチョコバーあたりでしたけども、あれだけでボリューム全体ボリュームで言うとどんぐらいなんですか。もう本当に最初の一つですよ、あれ。2章 です。西尾西尾ですあそこあのかあれあの時点でだって遊べるミニゲームをたくさんあるしチョコボだけでも今後だって崖登れるチョコボとかで行ける場所がまた新しく見つかってそこで手に入るものがあってでまだまだ多分新し
。セグウェイ乗ってたし。<笑>セグウェイ乗ってましたよね。すごいあのバズってましたね。<笑>めっちゃセグウェイ乗ってるじゃんクラウドと思って。<笑>はい、うんじゃあまあ僕が一番楽しみなのはやっぱここカームあたりやるんだったらまあ過去、うん、過去のニブルヘイムあたりを。はいはいはいはいもしかしたらセフィロスと一緒にこの,この映像でこのグラフィックでセフィロスと一緒に戦闘できるのかなと思ったらたまんないですよね。あるんですよね。もちろんですよ。もう今の私有でもう皆さんやってますからね。うわあ、見てー。マテリアキーパーと戦ってるの見たんですよ。<笑>ちょうどちょうど画面に。あ本当だ。セフィロスとクラウド。ちょうど画面にクラウドセフィロスが映ってます。<笑>えー、セフィロス操作。できますよもちろんうわー<笑>来るかぜひこれあの後でお時間あったらあの CU もやらせてもらいたい、はい、They're just bantering right now I can tell There's no big informational drops <笑>僕もセフィロスになりたいんだ<笑>セフィロスになりたいのが大好きな男ですもんね僕も英雄になりたいんだ英雄になりたいいやーかっこいいですいやもう本当に僕も一ユーザーとして楽しみにしてますはいありがとうございますやりましょうはいありがとうございますでは続いて北瀬さんいかがでしたでしょうかはいそうですねあのー、まあここにね会場にいらっしゃる皆さんは結構ファンの方多いところであのー、まあ一作目から今回二作目の、ね、新しいストーリーをこの期待していただければなと思いますでまあここにいらっしゃるねもしかしたらその、えー、FF7 一作目ねリメイク一作目をやられてない方あのいや二作目からやれるのかなって心配かもしれないですけどもあの全然十分独立した作品として。えー、成立ししますしあの冒頭でねあの1作目のダイジェストムービーとかもおさらいもできますしまたあの先ほどご紹介したツインパック等々ねあのお得にご購入していただければその1作目を予習した上で遊びますのでぜひねあのまだプレイされてない方あの FF7 の世界でやっていただければなと思います。はい、ありがとうございますさあ続いて浜口さんいかがでしたでしょうか、はい、今日はもう本当にあのいろんな新しい情報をあの、まあ、皆さんにお伝えできましたけどもう本当にこの,このゲームの全体のまだ一部でしかなくて、まあ、今後もです、ね、いろんな情報をどんどん発信していきますのでまた新しい情報に。<笑> Oh, okay. Back to Audrey.、Uh, said that there's, yeah, so today we've showed a lot of stuff,、um, but we're also, there's a lot that we haven't shown yet, and、uh, we hope you look forward to all of the information that we'll release、um, later at a later time. Oh, Nomura. <laughs> <laughs> so, Nomura was like, I was like, all of the stuff that we showed you. Oh, she's not there. So, Nomura was worried like, the, of them showing all of this content today because they, he wanted to use it for the next trailer. <laughs> I wanted to use it for the next trailer. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, thanks guys for joining me. <laughs> Sorry, jumped in on Audrey's stream. Sorry. Okay, there's still a lot of stuff that they haven't shown us, so we're going, or he hopes that everyone gets,、uh, is、uh, excited for all the stuff that、uh, they will show from here on out. So basically, yeah, Nomura was worried that、um, they showed too much today. Uh, but they、uh, will, yeah, definitely reveal other things. Because Nomura's making the trailers for this. We got confirmation of that.、Um, right? So Nomura wants trailer content. Hey guys, thanks for coming from Max's stream. Is that it? So, yeah, they pretty much didn't really say anything interesting in the closing messages, but、um, Nomura was just saying that like, they were afraid that he was just watching the show and was like, oh my god, they're showing that? <laughs> Can we even show that? Yeah, because all、um, like, the then... minigame stuff, you know, you would think that they, they want that to populate trailers, and it still can. Right? It absolutely still can. Uh, thank you, Audrey, for the, the absolute like, tr clutch translation in the end. It looks like we didn't miss much, but holy sweet Jesus, dude.